You know, sports fans are known sometimes to make fanatical life choices. Like getting a team logo tattoo, naming their firstborn <laughs> after their favorite player, or even running naked on the field. All right, but Fox 5 IT reporter Randy Travis says at least five people face criminal charges claiming they tried to sneak into the Super Bowl here in Atlanta. And wait till you see how far each got. Randy? That's right, Russ and Marissa. Yeah, they're all due in court later this month. Add to that a veteran cop who's also in trouble for trying to get too close to his heroes. Authorities consider them all Super Bowl sneaks. This is city charge. Man. Yeah. Even in handcuffs outside the Super Bowl last month, Brian Zwierzewski could not stop being a Patriots fan. I'm sure they're watching the jail, man. Police say he tried to get into Mercedes-Benz Stadium without a ticket. Twice. The second time they charged him with disorderly conduct. The other man you see here also went to jail for disorderly conduct. Police say Hamad Gwari made it to the field level and after being confronted, claimed he was with several unnamed celebrities. Damn, y'all made it up for I made it up. With no ticket. With no ticket. So how do they get in? Lots of ways. According to the reports, one guy basically did this, just kind of worked his way through a gap in the fence line. Then there's a Mercedes-Benz Stadium employee. He's accused of swapping his shirt with a buddy to get his friend inside. Both got caught. Both now face criminal impersonation charges. Can you understand the mindset of someone who's so in love with their team they're willing to break the law to see them? Yes, I understand, but the Super Bowl is the wrong event to try to do something like that. There's just too much security, and it's, it's an affront to the folks that put this event on. You know, Attorney Ray Judice talks sports and the law each week on 680 The Fan. He thinks the play call for these guys should be a guilty plea. Not worth the risk sneaking in and not worth the risk fighting it. Even a cop apparently can't resist the gravitational pull of greatness. A DeKalb County Internal Affairs investigation cited this freeze frame, a video shot by a Boston TV station following the Patriots into town. That's police captain Curtis Williams. He wasn't even working on this day. Instead, he drove his county car to the team hotel and brought his fiance. Took pictures of Aston Martins in the hotel garage reserved for Tom Brady. Wandered through the team lobby. Stood in places where the public was not allowed. He wasn't allowed either. Many law enforcement agencies, including our own, worked hard on the Super Bowl, and this just gives it a little bit of a black eye. An internal affairs investigation found Williams violated department policy. He was the director of the police academy. After this, they transferred him. He told investigators, I allowed my excitement for the New England Patriots coming to town for the Super Bowl to get the best of me. And he was very remorseful and apologetic. Is he still a Patriots fan? Uh, I, I have not asked him that. Bet he is. So is Shaheen Yunai. He spent four hours in jail after being caught in the Delta Club, an exclusive section deep inside Mercedes-Benz. Yunai told me by phone he really had a ticket, but gave it to his friend. Why? He couldn't explain that to me or the cops. You could actually buy Super Bowl tickets that weekend for $2,900. Court. We'll let Ray run the other numbers. So I would think out of pocket for court costs and fees about a thousand, fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred for good legal counsel, a day out of work to come here, and if you lived out of town and came here for the Super Bowl to sneak in, now you've got to travel as well. It would have been cheaper just to buy a ticket from a scalper. I think so, and enjoy yourself. But I have not look over your shoulder for the whole game. Three three. Is it three three still? No matter how much this night will cost them, they can at least be comforted by this. The Super Bowl they're accused of trying to sneak into and then watching from the Atlanta City Jail was the lowest scoring and perhaps least exciting Super Bowl ever. In other words, they didn't miss much. <laughs> Well, Atlanta police made two other arrests that night, two fans who ran on the field. Unlike the others, though, police say they actually had tickets. So they're going to wind up paying twice now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and so, the one guy who kept asking for the score. Yeah, he watched the rest of the football. game in the Atlanta City Jail, Marissa. 3-3 <laughs> oh. in the fourth quarter. It was grim all the way around <laughs> for him. <laughs> we were talking earlier, about where do you go once you get into the stadium? Right. Because you don't have a seat. And you got to, you know, the trick is avoiding detection once sure, you get in. Sure. And, you know, you're always looking over your shoulder. You hang out in the concession area. I mean, what do you do? You can't really watch <laughs> the game, even though you're inside the stadium. Yeah. Maybe better to watch the TV at home. Well, these guys would agree. Yeah. <laughs> Randy, thanks. All right.